Kevin Kerrigan is with the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. He's a senior advisor to the state on automotive initiatives. And Kevin, it's great to talk with you once again. Great to see you again. You've been promoting the state in a variety of ways over the years. Right now, you're sort of branding the state Planet M. Explain what that's about. Yeah, we, we took a look at um, you know the mobility arena and, and all of the assets that we have here in Michigan. And uh, we, we coupled that under this new campaign, Planet M. Planet M stands for Planet Mobility, but it also says Planet Michigan. Um, we have so many different assets in the state that we, we, we need to get out and talk loud and proud about. And you've also got to get it down to a simple message, hence Planet M. Yeah, and, and we have, um, you know, we've looked at all the different things we're doing, and it, it, when you look at it in total, it, it's quite impressive. It, it's quite a, a lot of assets, including M City, which we've talked about before, which is. And a, explain that a little bit again. So, M City is a 32 acre site for doing research and development and advanced engineering on connected and autonomous vehicles. It's very much like a movie site. You can, you know, move the, the buildings around or the facades and the, and the you know, the zebra crossings, all these types of things. Um, and it's, it's on the uh, University of Michigan campus, so it's, it's ac accessible by students. So you're really trying to group everything that's going on in Michigan from an academic as well as uh, a business standpoint. Right. And, you know, so M-City uh, touches that, again, advanced engineering and research and development. We have a new center that uh, we break ground on this month, which is the Adv uh, American Center for Mobility. That's going to be 10 times the size of M-City. Uh, a similar setup with, with multiple different uh, scenarios for testing connected vehicles. Um, but it's, it's also um, um, something that we can market across the world because it will do vehicle validation uh, all the way through from concept to you know, running vehicles on the roads. I've wondered why Michigan needed two different test tracks. You talked about M-City and now this, this bigger one that's coming. What was explained to me is uh, M-City is tied in with the University of Michigan. And of course, if you do any research there, it's gotta be publicly shared. Companies going to the other bigger center though, can have proprietary research done there. Is, is that basically the difference? It, it, it's, it's part of it, but um, uh, the, also the M-City's a, a subscription base, so they're a membership. Uh, there are about 48 companies that are a member of M-City and have contributed to uh, the creation of M-City. The American Center for Mobility right now will be done on a, a you know, pay-as-you-go basis, so it's open to every single company. Uh, small companies and large companies can do their testing. So you said 48 already signed up for M-City. Uh, have you got any takers on the, the well, new mobility? Well, again, sign? it's going to be a pay-as-you-go. So it will be if, if you, you come along, you, you pay for your time. So it will, it, we have a um, tremendous amount of interest from industry. We've got a number of letters of support that we've put together for, for f additional funding. Mm -hmm. And as part of your effort to get the word out about the state of Michigan, you're also sponsoring this uh, conference, I guess maybe is the right word to talk about, at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit, what they're calling Automobility. That's right. Um, it's an extension of the auto show. So during uh, preview week, which is the two press days and two industry days, we're going to have an exhibition of mobility companies and mobility technology uh, at the show. And we're calling it Automobility, and it's sponsored by Planet M. Um, it will be interesting, there's over 120,000 square feet of space that we're going to use. Over 100 companies now have signed up. And uh, most of those are startup companies, which I find really exciting. Well, I, I find that extremely exciting, exactly, that uh, so many new companies are getting into this. But clearly, you know, there's a lot going on in the state of Michigan, and I guess it's your job to make the world aware of what's going on here. Yeah, there, there's so many companies and so many activities within the state, including, as I mentioned, M-City, ACM. Uh, we also have the Smart Corridor, where we're turning, you know, num you know a lot of the roadways. Uh, this is an MDOT, the Michigan Department of Transport, um, uh, uh, um, a project. Um, originally we had 120 miles which we were putting in vehicle to infrastructure technology to test that connectivity. Uh, we've now increased that goal to 350 miles. And so um, there was a time when I could tell you everything that was going on in, uh, in the uh, connected autonomous world, but it's, it's growing so quickly that the things happening everywhere. And Michigan is, really is at the epicenter of this, this new world. So. 
Well, I commend you for getting that word out because everyone seems to think it's all happening in Silicon Valley, but clearly there's a lot going on here in the state of Michigan. Kevin Kerrigan, thanks so much for coming in and bringing us up to speed with what is happening vis-a-vis -vis mobility in the state of Michigan. Great, thanks to be here, yeah, thank you.